Hey guys, welcome back to Dee Dee's Mediterranean Kitchen. Today we're going to be making a wonderful dessert called Halawit al Jibin, which translates literally into sweet cheese. Now remember, you can get this recipe and all of my other recipes on my website at ddmed.com. And when you're there, you can join my social network, my Twitter, and my Facebook, so you can talk to a lot of other people who like the same food you do. Now, let's go over the ingredients, and then we're going to put this all together. We have some fresh mozzarella cheese that is soaked in one cup of water. I have some really fine semolina. I have fine farina. I have ground pistachios. I have uh, butter, some lemon juice, and I have ashta, which is that Mediterranean custard. I have some rose water, orange blossom water, and then we have water and sugar, and then we're going to get ready to go. You're going to have to use a nice uh, a big pot so that we can cook the cheese in. We're going to start off with two cups of sugar. We're going to make uh, sort of a simple syrup, like the same one that's on my website. So one, two. And to this we're going to add one cup of water. And we want to stir this until it's nice and dissolved. The sugar has dissolved, so I'm going to add one tablespoon and I'm going to add one tablespoon of each rose water and orange blossom water. Gives it a wonderful flavor. I'm going to let this come to a boil. It'll thicken up, and then I'm going to move it to the side. I moved my syrup to the side. I'm going to let that continue to cook. And then we're going to kind of pre-cook our farina. I have some butter. I'm put it in a pan. The butter melt. It's a sweet cream butter. It's great for dessert. Our butter has melted and it smells so good. You can find sweet cream butter at a lot of your local grocery stores. It shouldn't be too difficult to find. Mark, keep this on low heat. I'm going to add the farina as well. We just kind of want to cook it a little bit so it has a little bit of a nutty flavor. Just like that. Just for a minute or two. And then we're going to add this to our simple syrup. So it's almost done. Oops. Let's move our syrup back. And then we're going to add our farina and semolina mix to the butter, to the syrup, I'm sorry. Just like that. Make sure you stir, stir, stir. Put this away. And then as soon as this comes to a boil, we're gonna add the cheese to it. I'm gonna turn this down to low heat. And we're gonna add the mozzarella in pieces while we're still stirring. You don't want anything to stick. This is going to melt. It takes a lot of arm uh, arm grease to get this done because as soon as the cheese starts melting, it gets a really thick. So just slowly add your cheese. And I like soaking the cheese in uh, about a cup of water um, before I cook this, just so that if there's any excess salt, it comes out of the cheese. If you can find sweet cheese, that works even better. Um, it's found in a lot of the Mediterranean stores, but uh, you can find mozzarella in a lot of your local grocery stores. Just continue adding the cheese and stirring. If you could find a helper to help you with this, that's great. I like using a wooden spoon because it's strong and when the cheese starts to melt, it can handle it. It takes a lot of arm strength. You just got to keep on mixing while it's boiling. Just keep on mixing. Don't give up. Just keep on mixing. And the semolina will start, and the semolina and the farina will start to mix the mozzarella. 
just like that. I'll lower the heel a little bit. Just like that. See? It kind of starts to come off the edges. We're almost done. I'm going to turn off the heat and just continue to stir it. If you have a man around, this is the time to use them. Because this is a lot of muscle work. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to spread this in a pan and then put the dish together. So I have a nice non-stick sheet and I'm going to pour some simple syrup on it. This will keep the cheese from sticking and it will be really easy to spread it out. So just like that. With your hands, okay. This is simple syrup I pre-made. I always have some in the refrigerator for whenever I want to make desserts, that way I don't have to wait too long. We're going to get our cooked cheese. We're going to spread it out and let it cool. We're going to make little custard filled rolls. So just spread it out nice and thin. And as you're spreading, it's going to cool. If you have a, a bigger sheet, you can make it as thin as you like or as thick as you like. Woo, that's hot. Nice and even. It's a little bit messy, but let me tell you, it is very well worth it. See, and you can feel that it's getting more firm as you're spreading it. Now I'm going to let this cool for about 20 minutes. You can put it in the refrigerator if you like, but you want it to cool so that you can handle it and you can roll it. So I let it cool for about uh, 30 minutes. I actually put it in the refrigerator, let it cool completely, and now we're going to show you how to present it. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually cut this up into thirds just like this. It could be a little bit sticky sometimes. And then we're going to cut them into about four inches. Just like that. So right about there. The cutting part is a, a little bit uh, difficult. You want to use a serrated knife so you can cut through the cheese. So just like that. And then we're going to get our custard, our ashta filling. Now this you can find it on my website, remember, I used it for the Italian, which is the little pancakes. So we'll put some like that. Just spread it out. And then you need your knife to help you lift it. Cut all the way. And then just roll it up. Just like that. You might get a nice dish. And you want to let these cool completely before you serve them. So you can do them a day in advance. 
you can do a lot of this prep work in advance. So just take the roll, put it on the dish. We're going to roll our next one. Like that. Make sure it's cut. Now, some people also like to um, serve this in a different way as well. Some people just like to get the, the cheese mix and just cut it up into tiny squares and then serve it with the custard filling on top. Like that. I think I put a little too much custard filling, but that's okay. Move this out of the way. So I put them in a nice dish. You want to get some ground pistachio or whatever kind of ground nuts that you like. Just like that. pretty it is. And then you can serve it with the syrup on the side. You can just drizzle a little bit of syrup on top. Just like that. And that's it. It's so easy to make. It's so easy to put it together. Make it a day in advance if you're having company. Put it in the refrigerator. It stays good for about two days. And remember, you can get this recipe and all of my other recipes at my website. Join me again for Dee Dee's Mediterranean Kitchen.